Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about another interesting topic in wireless sensor networks. We are going to see introduction to computers and wireless sensor networks. In previous video, we have seen the overview of WSN. Why should you study WSN? And we have seen the applications of WSN and the syllabus of WSN. And today we are going to start the first unit in wireless sensor networks. We are going to see what is meant by sensing and sensors. What are the different uh, terminologies involved? We are going to see the motivation for WSN. So before starting with uh, wireless sensor networks, we will start with basic information about sensing. So what is meant by sensing? Technically speaking, sensing is gathering the information about any physical object, a process or even the occurrence of event. Right? Uh, I would technically say in human body, we have a lot of remote sensors. That is, we have eyes, nose and ears, right? Eyes gather information, visual information, and ears gather acoustic information, and nose gather smell information, correct? So, this process of gathering the information is called as sensing. And we call this, we can call this eyes, ears, and nose as remote sensors. Right. Why, is, why I mention it as remote sensors? Because we are not touching anything. We are just gathering information by seeing it, by hearing it, by smelling it. Correct? Similarly, sensors are the objects which gathers information right, about a physical quantity or a physical event or even the occurrence of event. Right? And even the sensor, we can say sensor also a transducer. Because... I would say like a transducer is a device which converts an, one form of an energy to the another form, correct? That is transducer, right? Even sensor is also one form of a transducer. That's because sensor, what it will do is it will, it will sense the information, it gathers the information. For example, if you want to measure the temperature of, of your human body, what you will do, you will have a thermometer, right? You will have some temperature sensor, right? So what it will do, it will sense that temperature, right? And it gives the information, that is, it converts that physical, physical element, right, into a signal, correct? So that we can able to measure that particular temperature, right? So sensor is the one which converts that physical quantity into a signal which can be measured, right? That is, it, it transforms from one form to the another form. That is why it is called as transducer, right? We can also call Sensor as a transducer, right? As I said, it converts the energy in the physical world into an electrical energy, which can be passed to any particular system that can be measured or analyzed, right? And a very good example for sensor is your thermometers, right? In, in homes, you use thermometer to measure body temperature, correct? It measures the temperature and it has some electronics in it, right? So that it... it, it shows what is the exact value of the temperature, correct? It gathers the information and it transforms that information into a signal so that it is processed to some system where we can able to see the information visually, digitally, correct? Right. So I believe you understand what is sensor and what is sensing, right? And there is another word which is called as actuator, right? Actuator is, is completely different from sensor, right? That is, a sensor is the one which can only collect the information, right? As I said, it collects information about uh, pressure, temperature, or any, any physical quantity. It gathers the information, right? And we can able to obtain information from the sensor. But it will not be able to control that information, right? So, what is actuator? Actuator is a device which can able to control that physical quantity, right? We will see the complete system, but before that actuator... I would like to give you a very good example for actuator. Actuator can be a, even a small valve which controls the flow of water, which controls the flow of uh, fuel, or it can be a small motor which, is, which can control the opening and closing of the door. Right? And a very good example is if you take uh, in, in petrol pump, right? In petrol pump, you have that uh, fuel gun, right? Whenever you ask uh, the employee to fill the tank, 
he will just push the fuel gun in your tank, right? And he will press that uh, gun, right? And he will not do anything, right? Once the tank gets filled, the gun will automatically stop the flow, flow of fuel because there will be an actuator, right? Before that, there will be a sensor which sends that particular information. That is, uh, it senses that the level of fuel is uh, up to the threshold level, right? And now it initiates the actuator. Now, what the actuator will do is it cuts down the flow of fuel. It closes the flow of fuel, right? That is a very good example of a sensing and actuating uh, system, right? So now we'll see how an actuator and sensor will work. We'll see about data acquisition and actuation, right? So as I said, sensor is, an, is a device which, which particular senses or which gathers any information, okay? And say, for example, uh, this is, consider this as an application where this application is used to measure temperature, just for an example, okay? Right. Consider this is this is a setup which is which is placed in an industry, right? So now the industry has to continuously monitor the temperature of a one particular unit, right? So what we have to do is we have to mention, for example, you, you consider this as a this as a unit where we have to measure the temperature in this particular unit, okay? Now the sensor is connected. That is, we have different sensors deployed in it. Now, sensor, what it will do is it will constantly gather that information, the temperature information, correct? Right. So, as I said, sensor can, can, can gather the information and then I also convert that information into an electrical energy, right? That only then we can able to measure that temperature value, right? So, whatever information that is obtaining from sensor, that has to be conditioned, right? What is somebody conditioning? Right. In order to view or in order to visualize the exact signal what is we received, right? In order to measure or visualize the sensor values, what we have to do is we have to do a lot of conditioning to for that particular signal, correct? So whatever information which you're obtaining from the sensor, it has to do a lot of conditioning. Conditioning can be of any, any type, right? For example, there can be amplification which has to be done. That is, what is the amplification? Just boosting of, of signal, right? Right, the signal has to be boosted in such a way that its amplitude has to be increased so that it can reach to a particular level, right? And similarly, you can also use attenuator. Attenuator, what is attenuator? There are chances that the sensor information, the sense signal can be very high, right? And there will be an analog digital converter or any device which has to be used a lower signal, right? So what we can do is we can use an attenuator instead of amplifier. Attenuator is the one which reduces the signal strength. Amplifier is the one which boosts the signal strength. And apart from it, you, will, you can use, there will be a filters. What filters will do? It will remove the unwanted signals. You have I-pass filter, right? Around 50 hertz to 60 hertz, it will remove those signals. It will remove the unwanted noise, right? And it will allow only the required signal, right? We can use high pass filters, low pass filters, all those things. So the signal which is obtained from the sensor has to perform, has to undergo a lot of conditionings. And then it is given to analog digital converter, right? What is my analog to digital converter? Analog to digital converter is definitely needed because the, the information which is obtained from the sensor, it will be in analog form. But in order to visualize or in order to analyze things, it has to be converted to a digital form, right? So, an analog digital converter is used where the analog signal will be converted to a digital signal, right? And now you can, if that signal, the obtained signal can be sent to the further processing. The processing can be of anything. It can be, we can store that information or we can visualize the information, right? We can do some analysis. Everything can be done by that information. If you, if you want to understand this very clearly, you can take the very good example as thermometer which is used in your home, right? What you will do, you will keep it under the tank of the kit, right? You gather the information and then there will be some electronics inside it. You will have an analog digital converter inside it. It performs all those conditions, all those conditioning and then it gives that value, right? It will give that value 97 degrees Celsius and 100 degrees Celsius, something like that, correct? So that is about sensing and data acquisition, right? And as I said, there will be something called actuator, right? This, as I said, consider this as an example which is set up in the 
industry right and now for there will be a threshold value for that particular unit for example as i said if we want to measure the temperature of that particular unit say for example that that unit uh, threshold is only 70 degree celsius just for an example i'm telling you right and as soon as the temperature value reaches the 70 degrees celsius there should be some alarm system or some coolant system which has to reduce that temperature value correct right that will be done by the actuator that will be done by the actuator right so uh, i'll explain you what is actuator is about now you can see that the signal which is obtained here right uh, it will be in the digital form right and if this signal has to be given to the actuator once again what we have to do is we have to convert the digital into but because we are we are going to feed the information to the actuator the sensor gives the information as 70 degrees celsius right that has to be understood by the actuator right only then it can be initiate the cooling process correct right so now what it will do is uh, the signal which is obtained from the sensor it will be once again converted to the analog form digital form to analog form and then it has to perform some conditioning that is required for the actuator to work right here what we have done is we have made the changes for the signal that is suitable for analog digital converter and some other electronics correct like similarly we are doing some conditioning here so that the actuator can understand the command from the sensor right now the sensor understand that it gets information about 70 degree and it will be programmed in such a way that i remember that once the fuel gets filled in the petrol tank what happens the flow of fuel stops correct similarly as soon as the 70 degree celsius is reached and the actuator gets that information what it will do is it will initiate a coolant system which will which will which will reduce this temperature right so this is about data acquisition and activation right the motivation of wsn why we go for wsn right hope you are clear with this particular concept thank you students thank you for watching kandipa indha video ungalku ellarku romba useful ah irukum nambara subscribe passionate professor and keep learning thank you very much